In the Philadelphia Museum of Art is a collection of paintings and objects by a man whose unique view of life has greatly influenced modern art. So here you are, Marcel, looking at your big glass. Yes. And the more I look at it, the more I like it. I like the breaks, the way they come, the cracks. You remember how it happened in 1926? Yes, I remember hearing. In uh, Brooklyn, they put the two paints on top of one another on a truck, flat, not knowing what they, they were carrying, and bouncing for 60 miles in Connecticut. So that's what happened. But the more I look at it, the more I like the cracks because they're not like shattered glass. They have a shape. There's a symmetry in the cracking. The two crackings are symmetrically dis disposed and there's more, in almost an intention there. An extra uh, curious intention that I'm not responsible for, ready-made intention, in other words, that I respect and love. But it is, it was one of your biggest undertakings, most ambitious. By far it is, and I worked eight years on it, and it is not finished. No. And I don't know whether it will ever be finished, but now I'll show you some finished things. Come along. chocolate grinder. Yes, uh, one of the two I made, and uh, the third one is on the glass itself. You had several versions of the a new descending a staircase too, didn't you? Yes, uh, three, uh, three, but this one is the real, the first one that was shown at the armory show. The one the newspaper man called an explosion and a shingle fact. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> that was a really... A great, uh, a great line he put uh, out. Succès de scandale, uh, now. Succès de scandale, yes. And this is a um, boxing match, a drawing that I never used, in fact, it's for the glass. I never used it. I felt it was not uh, quite what I wanted. It must be a great satisfaction to you to have so many versions and so, so much of your work in one collection, such as uh, you find here in the Philadelphia Museum. Oh. Wonderful it is. You know, it's just, I always felt that showing a, one painting in one place and another place, is just like amputating one finger each time or a leg. Here I feel at home, my house, and I've, I've never had such a, really a feeling of complete satisfaction. Well, I can understand how an artist would feel about yeah. that. 